a beautiful spring sunny day and I'm gonna give a tour of my chicken coop and give some pointers on how to automate a lot of things and have some backyard chicken with almost uh, no maintenance during the weekdays. Here's my coop uh, inside that shed. So it took about uh, two, three months to build this slowly, but well thought out, so pretty much everything is automated. Uh, let's get in here to look at the structure itself. Um, as you can see, it's a 12 by 10, I believe, something in that range, yeah, 12 by 10 um, run. And a, there's a platform up here. And then uh, got some uh, watering devices. So let's uh, look at this. You know, every lock, make sure you use a carabiner or some sort of a rock lock that raccoons can't get into. So, in here, you can see um, the water nipples are from that reservoir up there. So, basically, I fill up that reservoir, it should last for a week. Uh, also, keep uh, extra watering dish here let's get into the run and get this guy back in there get back there you go. all right so currently i have uh six adults three black australorps and three buff arpingtons i'm introducing another six uh two arcanas one uh <coughs> rhode island red and one colombian sussex to Bodrock, I believe. So there's a good mix. Uh, the chicks are about five weeks old. Uh, I s introduce them early so they don't feel threatened by the big ones and the big ones don't feel threatened by the dominance of the little ones. Um, so they get introduced early but they go into their own brooder in the night. Um, they just come in this and run here. So what you see is a nice big two windows. That's the coop. Um, Pretty much got all the windows, everything possible from uh, Habitat for Humanity, all the second chance and uh, restore stores. So keeping the cost down yet, uh, pretty nice to incorporate some light into the coop, uh, mainly because you know the egg layers do need a lot of sunlight. And out here, the entire run is secured with uh, hardware cloth, half inch. Uh, this way, no predator like foxes, which are pretty common here, um, can chew through the chicken wire. Uh, these are pretty strong to keep anything out. Um, also, on the top, as you can see, it's corrugated plastic. Gives enough sunlight, but keeps the run dry, which is kind of like a big deal in chicken raising. You know, when you have a run that's not fully covered, it gets very muddy. In this case, uh, not a single drop comes in. Unless I wanted to, I can pipe down some water here. Um, I do have, I need to clear this out, but I do have uh, <coughs> a chicken dust bath just with a tire and put some uh, fine sand in there. They take a bath on that now and then clean that out. So there's all my flock uh, hanging around in the run area. So that's the run. Uh, I put a doggy door in here. <clears throat> which they learned to use. I took out the big flap and in the winter I just put like uh, a whole bunch of strips all the way down uh, Now I cut it up so they would have some draft protection. Uh, I do not come and close every night because it's a sealed system completely. They do free range when I'm watching but not all the time. <clears throat> uh, there's a chicken swing. You see them occasionally jumping on that. And then there's a couple of uh, slabs up there, which uh, they haven't shown much interest in jumping. I need to put something lower for them to catch up to that. Um, there's one solar light up there. So in the night, this area is illuminated. Uh, not too bright, but just enough for them to feel safe if a predator is uh, somewhere around. So <clears throat> that's the tour for uh, the run itself. And as you can see, it's plenty space for them to have fun one of the best parts with having chicken is that all your table scrap you know uh, pretty much can be can be dropped into their chicken feed directly and 
all I have to do is toss them in and in no time they will finish it off and you save some money <laughs> no waste less trash it's a good system now you always need a thermometer uh, it's nice because I could see from my window up there what's the temperature whether it's freezing or not uh, depending on that <coughs> I know what to do whether the water freezes and I, my heater needs to be on and all that I do not provide heat for them um, in the main coop but I do have the water heaters uh, that <coughs> keep the water from freezing so here's my little uh, brooder the chicks come in here in the night uh, with a little heat lamp and uh, so I have the water here on a cinder block and the heater on the other side and the feed it's basically a rabbit uh, feeder and it works fine you know they seem to love it they go out uh, whenever they can so that's the brooder um, after about <clears throat> 10 12 weeks when they can eat uh, the layer feed then I would uh, just put them together here's a full chicken coop the coop uh, has two egg boxes with uh, two compartments in each so four compartments total there's the doggy door I was talking about and then you got a bunch of roost and that's my automatic automatic feeder the so automatic feeder is nothing but a three feet uh, three inch pipe and PVC pipe with the lid on it so open the lid dump some feed in there and the bottom comes down to a six inch fitting as you can see this particular transition is nothing but a gutter downspout uh, from this to a gutter downspout uh, adapter and as they peck things would start coming down there so they're pretty used to this uh, keeps it very clean no mess and my feed is stored in boxes so things are not falling all over the place they get their treats mealworms etc so in here uh, I do have a double locking for two big doors so I can open up the door completely uh, top to bottom this one is my favorite all the time train interact All right, so as you can see, that's their roost. And uh, I use sand and sweet PDZ as uh, my bedding. I just uh, scooped up one, two weeks worth of poop, I think. And uh, it's not bad, you know, it doesn't smell at all. What I do is I normally, you know, once in two weeks, I would uh, clean it up. And at the end, uh, toss some uh, straw in there, you know, so just toss some straw loosely that catches a lot of uh, Poo you can just scoop Scoop them up as well. So it kind of helps. They also like to dig through the straw and uh, Play with it. That's my bedding pretty much sand with sweet PDZ and a whole bunch of straw uh, You get a whole bale for uh, 10 bucks and last about I don't know six months uh, so that's pretty cool three tiers uh, for their roost and by hierarchy they just go up as we come down here I have a heater pan here during the winter that automatically kicks in and the water will be inside in the winter in the summer I put it outside over there um, for I believe this has automated circuit uh, if not you could use one of those uh, cubes they sell called uh, um, no freeze cube or something and you know, it just turns on the circuit when when the temperature goes below 36 or something like that and here's my nest box and you can see all the eggs you know that's the best part about keeping chickens they give something back and you get to enjoy that so all my wiring is uh, hidden pretty much you know so they don't peck on it I have a timer up there uh, that's hooked up to this lamp um, that directly shines on their roost 
So it kind of gives them 14 hour sunlight, keeping it consistent uh, throughout the seasons. So their egg production doesn't go down drastically. Um, you do tend to see egg production drop during the winter months. But that's okay, that's a natural thing. Uh, I'm not here for egg business, you know, what they give is what we get. So that's um, the chicken coop. The ventilation, very important. You know, I do have a whole bunch of vents in this. Uh, that's controllable. Uh, just turn, close them off certain times and turn them on certain times. I also have a big slider up here. As you can see, this uh, this whole thing slides open and then it's like a sunroof for them. There's like three nice big ventilation through the soffit. Uh, if the heat is too much during the summer, open that up, that goes off. This whole coop is uh, pretty well insulated, walls are insulated. Um, and on the other side, my tools, uh, these are children tools, but comes in real handy because one of the main problems with uh, cleaning the coop is that you use a bigger equipment than needed. This rake is really, really easy to scoop up all the top layer of the poop and dump it in. Uh, for other stuff, I mainly use a pasta strainer. Uh, you know, sieve the sand with this real quick and I have another uh, drilled a whole bunch of holes in this so I can just scoop and like sieve the sand with this as well. The combination of these two uh, makes life a lot easier. I do have a scraper, uh, you know, to scra scrape the deck over there. Basically the maintenance is just once a week I fill this up and it'll last more than a week uh, but every week you know, I'll come and make sure I fill it up to the top and they eat them. It's kind of nice from the inside I'll show you. Here's the feeder. As you can see the feeder is pretty clean. Uh, nothing sits on top and poops because it's at the right height about 8 inches and it's deep enough uh, so when they peck here this more stuff comes out as you can see there's a little gap between the bottom and the pipe here so as they peck um, more of the food comes through so they can keep on eating when they need so that's it for the coop water same thing it lasts two weeks in fact the water can outside and that watering system um, so again once a week uh, ordeal and cleaning the coop you know, come once a week, sieve through it. it, takes two minutes to get that done. Spread some hay, throw it in the compost, be done with it. So once my peeps are out from here to there, it's even easier to do that. So by the way, this is how we access the egg boxes. You open up, grab the eggs, drop it, and be done with it. Don't have locks on it, I should, but the whole shed is locked anyway, so. They are good to go at this point. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe for more chicken and household items and uh, automotive everything.